LNG TV, the official media channel partner for GasTech 2021. Uh, we are one of the first to deploy artificial intelligence technology to not only monitor the emissions, but to accurately predict them. Hello, I'm Will Dawson, and welcome to this very special LNG TV episode in the run-up to the 2021 GasTech conference in Dubai. It is a pleasure to be joined today by Tabor al Hashemi. Tabor is the Chief Executive Officer of Adnoc Sargas, a joint venture with Occidental and one of the world's largest sour gas producers and a major international sulfur producer. Tabor is one of three female CEOs of Adnoc operating companies, and before taking the helm of Adnoc Sour Gas, Tabor was chief executive of another Adnoc operating company, Al Yassat Petroleum. Tabor, welcome. Thank you, Will, for the introduction, and thank you for having me in this important session about the changing global uh, energy system. Let's dive straight in. How and what will future energy infrastructure investment look like, and what are the criteria driving the new investor realities in a decarbonizing energy system? Um, well, uh, I think the uh, flexibility and the future proving a new infrastructure investment is a critical in this uh, changing global energy system. Uh, that's why the versatility of natural gas infrastructure makes it such an important contributor to more diverse, uh, increasingly sustainable and evolving uh, energy mix. Um, in my opinion, gas can meet near-term emission reduction while offering the adaptability to be able to repurpose infrastructure for uh, decarbonization or for uh, deeper decarbonization and cleaner fuel um, like hydrogen, uh, for instance, in the future. Uh, if we talk about uh, ADNOC in specific, uh, I believe here at ADNOC we are investing today uh, and growing our gas capacity uh, with expansion of facilities like uh, Shah Expansion Project and also in developing a new uh, fields like uh, Ghesha field, for instance. Uh, these are important projects and uh, important contributors to helping the UAE uh, become gas self-sufficient uh, for fueling growing domestic demand for power generation, uh, water desalination, and also uh, and expanding uh, the industrial sector here in, in UAE. Um, at the same time as growing gas production today, uh, we are looking at using the gas feed stock and facilities uh, pipeline infrastructure and carbon capture technology to produce and distribute cleaner fuel like hydrogen, as I mentioned. And as you know, uh, the hydrogen market emerged. The flexibility of our expanding gas infrastructure will support the creation of hydrogen uh, ecosystem. How can data and technology tackle fugitive emissions and support in decarbonizing gas production and distribution today? I think data is a driving a progress in every walk of life and in every industry. Uh, one of the ways uh, we are unlocking the power of data at ADNOC is using it to drive the decarbonization of our operating assets. Uh, cutting edge technology and better use of data uh, can help us to detect and repair faster the leaks, uh, monitor and reduce emissions in real time, as well as optimize our operating uh, to be more responsive to end user demand. Um, as an example, in the operating company that I run, uh, Adnox Sour Gas, uh, we are one of the first to deploy artificial intelligence technology to not only monitor the emissions, but to accurately predict them based, of course, on changing feedstock and the operating conditions and parameters. So we can take early corrective actions to lower our emissions footprint. At the same time, uh, this is, will help us to uh, lower our uh, cost. 
working with our digital partners, uh, we have reduced uh, the gas emissions and saved millions in efficiencies at our Shah plant uh, in Ednox Sour Gas. Uh, not only that, uh, it has improved safety too as fewer personnel on site needs uh, or need to conduct a potentially dangerous uh, emissions review. How is ADNOC supporting major customers deliver on their ESG goals? Um, the UAE is a committed, secure and reliable provider of the world's energy needs. Uh, therefore, if the global energy system is evolving, if Edna customers' requirements are changing, and as technology is advancing, then we are adapting with a competitive low-carbon product portfolio. It is why we at Edna have been such early pioneers in the emerging market for cleaner uh, hydrogen and it is carrier fuels. Okay, can you um, give me some examples from Edna? Um, earlier this year, uh, we announced plans uh, for a million ton per uh, year blue ammonia production facilities at the New Taziz Industrial Ecosystem at Ruiz. Uh, just recently, we sold a number of blue ammonia cargos to Japan for a broad range of industrial uses, uh, showing the opportunities and at the same time stimulating further market interest. And, uh, uh, and those cargos, by the way, have sold at attractive premium to gray ammonia, underscoring the favorable economics behind blue hydrogen. Um, so at Ednoc today, we are investing in and already delivering, uh, already delivering the, the low carbon product portfolio that world and our clients need. Uh, at the same time, uh, expanding our gas production, which is part uh, of that. And how do you think the facilitation of dialogue at major events such as GasTech can support the drive to a cleaner energy future? Um, as someone who's passionate about how we are providing the energy that world needs, and as the chair of EDBIT 2021, which is really at the heart of the global energy industry and sustainability dialogue. Uh, I personally delighted to see major events uh, reconveying again in person. And I believe events like these play a crucial role in bringing decision makers together, uh, together uh, innovators together, collaborating, connecting, so we can all advance the global transition and thrive in a new uh, energy world. Well, Taiba, we very much look forward to seeing you in Dubai. A pleasure speaking with you today. Thank you very much and see you in Dubai. And thank you to you all for joining us for this Gas Tech special. From all of us here at LNG TV, goodbye.